Let's study solutions and related terms. Take some quantity of water in a glass. Now add one spoon of sugar in it. Mix it well. Now it becomes a sugar solution. So tell me how many components we add? Components? What are components? The substances used to make solution are called components. Now tell me the answer. Two components. Thus, when two components are used, it forms a binary solution. The component which is present in large quantity is called solvent. Here water is solvent. And the component which is present in lesser quantity is called solute. Here it is sugar. The solution in uh, which water act as solvent is called aqueous solution and when solvent is other than water it is called non aqueous solution. This solution which we made is unsaturated because in this solution more solute can be dissolved. Now if we add two or three more spoons of sugar in it then a stage will come when no more solute can be dissolved in this solution then it is called saturated solution in unsaturated solution now add small quantity of salt in it and mix this becomes ternary solution because now there are three components in this solution add fourth component in it what is that? Lemon juice. Add some lemon juice in it. Mix it well. Now it becomes quaternary solution. Oh, that means it become concentrated. Let's make it dilute by adding little bit of extra water. Water nahi. Solvent. <laughs> <laughs> In analytical chemistry, if you have to find out which solution is more concentrated and which is less, then we must have knowledge of methods of expressing concentration. So what is concentration? It is the amount of solute present in the given quantity of the solution. It is usually expressed in different ways. So first is mass percentage or volume percentage. So what is mass percentage? It is defined as mass of solute in grams present in 100 gram of solution. Percentage by weight is equal to weight of solute divided by weight of solution multiplied by 100. For example, 10% solution of sodium carbonate by weight means 10 gram of sodium carbonate solute is present in 100 gram of sodium carbonate solution. So next is volume percentage. It is defined as volume in milliliter of solute present per 100 milliliter of solution. Volume percentage is equal to volume of solute divided by volume of solution multiplied by 100. For example, 10% solution of HCl by volume means 10 milliliter of HCl solute is present in 100 milliliter of HCl solution. There is another way to express concentration which is mass by volume percentage. So it is defined as mass solute in grams present in 100 milliliter of the solution. So weight over volume percentage is equal to weight of solute in gram divided by volume of solution in milliliter multiplied by 100. For example, 10% solution of sodium chloride by weight over volume means 
10 gram of sodium chloride solute is present in 100 milliliter of sodium chloride solution. To understand the concept, let's try one numerical. If 11 gram of oxalic acid is dissolved in 500 ml of solution, whose density is 1.1 gram per ml, what is the mass percentage of oxalic acid in solution? So here, mass of oxalic acid is given, which is 11 gram, volume of solution 500 ml, and density of solution is given 1.1 gram per ml. So to find out mass percentage of oxalic acid, firstly we have to find out mass of solution. So as we know uh, from the formula of density, density is mass upon volume. So mass of solution is equal to density of solution multiplied by volume of solution, which is equal to 500 ml multiplied by 1.1 gram per ml, which is equal to 550 gram. So now we can easily find out mass percentage of oxalic acid which is equal to weight of solute divided by weight of solution multiplied by 100. So that comes 11 divided by 550 multiplied by 100 which is equal to 2%. Here comes the second concentration term which is molarity. It is denoted by capital M. It is defined as number of moles of solute present per liter or 1000 ml of solution. So molarity is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in milliliter multiplied by 1000. So in symbolic form it is equal to WB upon MB into volume of solution in milliliter multiplied by 1000 where WB is the weight of solute in grams. MB is the molecular mass of solute and capital V is the volume of solution in milliliter. The major disadvantage of molarity is that with change in temperature the change in volume of solution take place hence molarity also changes. Let's try one numerical of molarity. 18 gram of glucose whose molecular mass is 180 gram per mole is present in 500 cubic centimeter of its aqueous solution. What is the molarity of the solution? Here the mass glucose which is the solute WB is equal to 18 gram volume of solution capital V is given 500 cubic centimeter which is equal to 500 milliliter. Molecular mass of glucose capital MB is equal to 180 gram per mole. So apply the formula of molarity which is equal to WB upon MB into capital V multiplied by 1000. So it is equal to 18 divided by 180 multiplied by 500 into 1000 which comes out to be 0 0.2 molar. Here one thing we need to keep in mind that if the volume of solution is given in liters then we should not multiply the formula by 1000. The third concentration term is molality which is denoted by small m. It is the number of moles of solute present per 1000 gram or 1 kilogram of the solvent. So molality is equal to number of moles of solute divided by weight of solvent in grams multiplied by 1000. Let WB and WA are the weights of solute and solvent in grams respectively. Capital MB is the molecular weight of the solute. Then in symbolic form, the molality is equal to WB divided by capital MB multiplied by WA in grams multiplied by 1000. The concentration term molality is independent of temperature because here the volume of solution term is replaced by weight of solvent which is independent of temperature. Let's understand by doing one numerical. 4 gram of sodium hydroxide are contained in 1 deciliter of solution. Calculate molality of solution given the density of the solution is 1.038 gram per ml. So in this case mass of sodium hydroxide that is solute 
WB is equal to 4 gram which is given volume of solution is also given which is 1 deciliter that is equal to 1 upon 10 liter or we can say 100 milliliter molecular mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram per mole and density of solution is given 1.038 gram per ml so applying molality formula WB upon MB into WA in grams multiplied by 1000 now here weight of solvent WA is not given so for this we have to find out weight of solution which we can uh, calculate by applying the formula of density as we know uh, density is mass upon volume so from this weight of solution comes out to be density of solution multiplied by volume of solution that is equal to 1.038 gram per ml multiplied by 100 ml that is equal to 103.8 gram so we have weight of solution and weight of solute till now and we can easily find out weight of solvent WA by subtracting weight of solute from the weight of solution that is equal to 103.8 that is the weight of solution minus 4 gram that is the weight of solute that is equal to 99.8 gram so by putting the values in molality formula that is equal to 4, 4 gram which is the weight of solute divided by 40 gram which is the molecular weight of solute multiplied by 99.8 gram that is the weight of solvent multiplied by 1000 that is equal to 1.002 molal so our fourth concentration term is normality which is denoted by capital N it is defined as the number of gram equivalents of solute present per liter of solution or 1000 ml of solution so normality is equal to number of gram equivalents of solute divided by volume of solution in milliliter multiplied by 1000 if the volume of solution is given in liters then we should not multiply the formula by 1000 let WB be the weight of solute in grams EQ weight is the equivalent weight of solute and V is the volume of solution in milliliter then in symbolic form the formula of normality becomes WB divided by equivalent weight of solute multiplied by volume of solution in milliliter multiplied by thousand let's try one numerical related to normality calculate the normality of solution containing 31.5 gram of hydrated oxalic acid in 1250 milliliter of solution so here given the molecular mass of hydrated oxalic acid is 126 gram per mole so mass of solute WB is given 31.5 gram volume of solution capital V is also given 1250 milliliter molecular mass of hydrated oxalic acid is 126 gram per mole so to find out normality firstly we have to find out equivalent weight of hydrated oxalic acid which is equal to molar mass divided by its basicity so here uh, in case of oxalic acid the basicity is 2 so that means 126 divided by 2 that comes out to be 63 gram so by applying normality formula WB upon equivalent weight of solute multiply by volume of solution in milliliter multiply by 1000 and putting their respective values we have the required answer 0 0.4 normal so let's study how we can find the equivalent weight of any substance so first is the equivalent weight of an acid can be calculated by applying formula that is equal to molecular mass of acid divided by its basicity here basicity is the number of H positive ions liberated by an acid second is the equivalent weight of a base can be calculated by molecular mass of base divided by its acidity the acidity of a base is the number of OH negative ions liberated by a base third is the equivalent weight of salt can be calculated as molecular mass of salt divided by number of electrons exchanged now if we have to find out uh, the relation between normality and molarity then we have another formula normality is equal to molarity multiplied by molecular weight divided by equivalent weight our fifth concentration term is mole fraction which is denoted by small x it is the ratio of number of moles of one component of the solution 
to the total number of moles of all the components present in the solution. Let A and B be the components of solution. Small n A and n B are the number of moles of these components. Then, mole fraction of component A, x A is equal to n A upon n A plus n B. And x B, that is the mole fraction of component B, is equal to n B upon n A plus n B. So, x A plus x B is equal to n A upon n A plus n B plus n B upon n A plus n B that is equal to n A plus n B divided by n A plus n B that is equal to 1. So x A plus x B is equal to 1. So we can also write as x A is equal to 1 minus x B. So if the value of mole fraction of one component is known we can easily find out the mole fraction of another component by simply subtracting it from 1. So our next concentration term is parts per million which is denoted by ppm when a solute is present in very minute amounts the concentration is expressed in parts per million it is defined as the number of milligram of components present in thousand gram or one kg of solution so concentration of component a in parts per million is equal to mass of component a divided by total mass of solution multiplied by 10 raised power 6 so let's try one numerical related to mole fraction. Calculate the mole fraction of ethanol and water in a sample of rarefied spirit which contains 95% ethanol by mass. So first of all, what's the meaning of 95% ethanol by mass? It means 95 gram of ethanol is dissolved in 100 gram of solution. So here the weight of ethanol that is given 95 gram and the weight of water that is solvent can be calculated by subtracting the weight of ethanol from the weight of solution 100 minus 95 that is equal to 5 gram so the molecular mass of ethanol C2H5OH comes out to be 46 gram and the molecular mass of water is 18 gram so from this number of moles of ethanol can be calculated by applying formula weight of ethanol divided by molecular weight that is 95 divided by 46 it comes out to be 2.05 so in the similar way number of moles of water is weight of water divided by molecular weight that is 5 divided by 18 it comes out to be 0 0.278 so now apply the formula of mole fraction that is mole fraction of ethanol x ethanol is equal to number of moles of ethanol divided by total number of moles of both the components so the answer comes out to be 0 0.88 now the mole fraction of water can be simply calculated by subtracting the mole fraction of ethanol from 1 that comes out to be 0 0.12 so students try to solve all the questions which I have given to you by yourself and tell me the answer by simply writing the number of that numerical and the answer of that numerical in the comment section In laboratories to calculate the volume of a given molarity of solution required to prepare solution of other molarity we use molarity equation m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 where m1 and v1 is the molarity and volume of given solution m2 and v2 is the molarity and volume of required solution so if we have to calculate the molarity of solution after mixing two or more solutions then suppose if v1 milliliter of a solution of molarity m1 is mixed with v2 ml of solution of molarity m2 then the molarity of the final solution m3 is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m3 multiplied by v1 plus v2 so m3 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 so in the similar way we have normality equation n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 where n1 and v1 is the normality and volume of given solution n2 and v2 is the normality and volume of required solution